In this video, I'm going to discuss how to use limits in CINAHL. Limits are used after you've done a search and you feel like you have way too many results to, to sift through. Limits will give you more focus and decrease the number of, of articles to look at. On the display page of your results, what you'll notice is over here on the left is uh, a limits menu. Uh, and when you use it, uh, there are different things that you're able to do. One of those things is, is that you can limit by publication date. If you want to use this, it's actually a slider. All you have to do is click on the, the left hand one and slide it to where you would like it to be. Like say if you wanted the last 10 years, you could slide this to 2002, which I'll do here. And a pop-up box will come up and then you just click update. Anytime you place a limit on your search, what you'll notice is up here in the search options, uh, the limits or the limit you've applied will uh, take place or be shown to you. You'll notice I went from 106 results down to 94. Now, if you want to see all of the limits that are available to you, if you click on this show more button or link, you'll have a box that pops up and which you'll notice that you can further adjust your limits or you can uh, restrict by publication type, you can restrict by age group or special interest or whatever it is that you need to do. One limit that's going to be in particularly uh, useful to you is the one for English language which you can check here or come down here to the bottom and also find. Because CINAHL is international in nature, there are articles in here that while they may have an English abstract, are not in English if you should look at the full text or be able to get the full text. One other thing to remember when it comes to your um, application of limits is in these menus, you may want to select more than one thing. Like in publication type, which is where you can find things like systematic reviews and meta-analyses and practice guidelines, you may have to select multiple things. Anytime you want to do that, what you must do is you must hold down the control button on your keyboard and then scroll through until you find what you want. Like in this case, I might want meta-analyses. I might want to scroll down and I might want practice guidelines. And I also might want anything that deals with research or a research instrument. And therefore, now I have them all selected. And once I've selected everything I want on this page, in order to apply them to your search, you just have to scroll down and click on search. And once you've done that, what you'll notice again is the limits show up in your search history right here and now the number is 25 so I went from 106 to 94 to 25. One thing to keep in mind is once you activate uh, your limits they will stay activated unless you turn them off or unless you deactivate them. You can do that by going back into your search uh, limits area that you were just in and just deactivating them. Just go back up and you can hit all turn off English language, etc., and then hit search. And what you'll notice is that the number goes back up. The only thing I didn't turn off was the limit of 10 years, and I went back from 25 to 94. And that is how you use limits in CINAHL.